what's up the squad back with another video i'm reckless other videos are only check out make sure y'all comment down below email me life for reckless or dm on instagram life with reckless um definitely had to react to this video y'all know definitely much love to y'all for sending videos uh for me to check out definitely uh find them very interesting but without further ado let's get in the video Mr. Jordan, how many votes are you willing to go through tomorrow are you going to just keep going we need to get a speaker tomorrow um the american people deserve to have their Congress, the House of Representatives working, um, and you can't have that happen to get a speaker. So we need to do that. Plus, we need to be helping Keep our, our dearest friend again. and colleague, uh, our, our dearest friend and, and closest ally, uh, Israel. We need to help them as well. Keep There's going over and over again. Tomorrow, you expect multiple roll call. Well, look, tomorrow? I felt good walking into the conference. I feel even better now. We got a few more people we want to talk to, listen to. Uh, and then we'll have a vote tomorrow. There's a thing. Thing. Establishment rhinos are panicking as grassroots patriots rise up in demand. They vote for Jim Jordan for speaker. We're going to see the latest on the upcoming vote today. We're going to see who are the remaining bitter holdouts who are refusing to back Jordan and how patriots are rising up, taking back their party once and for all. You're not going to want to miss this. Greetings, gang. It is me, Dr. Steve. Mm. Your patriot professor here to help you think better so you can feel better in these crazy and turbulent times. So if you haven't already done so, you know what to do. Make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. Also, if you would be so kind, please share this video with friends and family. We're once again being throttled by big tech, so I need your help to get the hopeful message of this channel out to as many people as possible. So today is the day after the ultra rhino Kevin McCarthy was ousted as speaker nearly two weeks ago in a humiliating defeat for the establishment conservative firebrand jim jordan will be voted on to replace him the latest report from mm. axios is that former detractors are beginning to line up behind jordan in mass dozens of holdouts began to flip to jordan over the weekend one of the major ones being mike rogers of alabama who gives the whole notion of a plastic head a new meaning Rogers originally claimed there was no way he would ever vote for Jordan, and he even suggested that Republican holdouts work with Democrats to find a so-called consensus speaker, which, of course, would have been a disaster for Republicans politically. And as it turns out, the rank and file let Rogers hear that big time. The Gateway Pundit is reporting on a massive grassroots campaign that was launched over the weekend to get Jim Jordan elected. Tens of thousands of you have been flooding Congress with phone calls, literally melting their phone lines, in a show support that congressional aides said they had not seen in years. The office phone numbers of the various holdouts, the rhino filth that continue to plague our party, were posted by a number of activists online, and particularly on X, formerly known as Twitter. And the political pressure brought to bear on these holdouts has been enormous and effective, given how many were seeing renounce their opposition and voice now their support for Jordan. But mm. there are still rhinos, Republicans in name only, or as I prefer, Diablos, Democrats in all but label, who are showing their true colors. Despite the fact that Jordan was endorsed by the leader of our party, President Trump, as well as backed by a massive majority within the party, that has not stopped bitter and resentful rhinos like Don Bacon in Nebraska from continuing to oppose Jordan. Here's Florida Republican Congressman Carlos Jimenez on who he plans to vote for in today's vote. Kevin McCarthy, I've been uh, very, very uh, vocal about it. I've also been very consistent. Since Wednesday, I've been in the same place and I'm going to stick to it. Look, um, eight Republicans voted with 208 Democrats to oust the Speaker of the House, our Speaker of the House, our leader that we supported by, by 96 percent. And so I think the way out of this is to go back a little, back into the future, I guess, and just reinstate Kevin McCarthy. And us, but, you know, looking for another leader, et cetera, makes no sense whatsoever. 96 we'll, percent. Wait, sorry. And I'm just soaking all this in. Y'all know I'm not saying much. I'm, I'm soaking it in. I'm a, hey, Patriot business owners out there, you have got to meet my good friend, Josh Zaglowski, co-founder of ERC Specialist. He's got an amazing payroll protection company. It's put back Kevin McCarthy. I mean, let that hit you. Now, keep in mind, this is a so-called Republican who voted for Hillary Clinton in 2016. And mm. you have to wonder, how do Republicans like this continue to stay in office? Who is I hear so much. And the, and the crazy thing is, 
I just got into, uh, y'all know, I just got into politics four months ago. I really didn't know, um, I didn't really know much about Hillary Clinton. I guess until now, I had did a video. I, heard, I had uh, reacted to a video. Um, I was looking at a video. I forgot what video it was. But it was one video in particular that I reacted to about uh, Hillary Clinton. I'm going to go back. I had reacted to about Hillary Clinton. I did not know so many people didn't like her. It's crazy. I didn't know so many people didn't like her. And I think I reacted to another video and I was seeing what she was doing with what she had going on. And I could definitely understand why. But I didn't know. And, and it's crazy because that's just like. Like, like I said, just getting into politics, I'm starting to get to know people, get to know names, you know, even with Jim Jordan, getting to know people. And that's why a lot of times I watch these videos and uh, react to these videos to soak up a lot of this information. That's why I do research. Um, that's why I look at different articles and an independent journalist. Um, I really watch the news, but I definitely look at a lot of independent journalists and stuff like that. Um, to, to, to gain research on these people because I feel like it's important. It's important for all of us to. How do Republicans like this continue to stay in office? Who is voting for these guys? Where's the Democrat equivalent of this guy? Where's the Democrat representative who voted for Trump in either 2016 or 2020? See, this is why I always say this city, D.C., is owned by Democrats and merely rented by Republicans. In the D.C. swamp, the wow. Democrats have the moral high ground, if you can believe it. Like we've seen with Mittens Romney or Liz Cheney or that utterly insufferable Adam Kinzinger. To vote with the Democrats is to vote one's moral conscience. As if these completely corrupt politicians had any semblance of a moral conscience. But, the but key I feel like a lot of people get lied. Like people, people are, I feel like a lot of people are delusional when it comes to dems lying about stuff like reacting to you know how everything started because i came from a household of democrats like i literally came from a household of democrats and my dad if you haven't seen a lot of video he's he's a democrat still to this day um my mom is too as well but she's not really into politics i think it's more of a following type thing um with my father but um he's he's a democrat and I grew up thinking that Democrats, you know, is, you know, the the, the people who to vote for. It, it doesn't matter who it is, as long as it's, you know, the donkey, blue, you know. And that's all I knew until four months ago. I watched videos and stuff like that and see, and see you know, how everything worked, you know. Um, I, I definitely seen how everything worked. And it was a decision. Um, it, it made me think, like... I went through all of my life, you know, um, going through, uh, I would say high school, you know, uh, I dropped out of college. I am a college dropout. Um, and I, I should make story time, you know, why I dropped out of police academy, why I dropped out of college and stuff like that. I'm going to make a story time. We're going to do that this week. But um, I, I literally I went through, you know, high school and, and, you know, getting out of college of thinking, you know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a Democrat. You know, I see Democrats. I've seen Obama win. I, I was one of those people, you know, like first black president and first, you know, one of those people. And then I got into politics four months ago to see what was real. And I feel like a lot of people have to realize what's really there, you know, what's really going on um, as far as that party. And a lot of people still don't know. So I find it important to me to get these videos out. Um, as much as possible so people could actually learn not even if they agree with me but learn new things learn what's really going on you know in the united states um i feel like that's important key here is that the democrats own dc it's been that way since fdr who established the deep state during world war ii and truman and its aftermath the deep state is an inherently democrat operation and rhino republicans are the ones who have made their peace with the fact that if you want to pay to play in the power politics of D.C., you've got to appease the Democrats. The Democrats own the city. The Republicans are just renters. And if you want the benefits of power and influence, 
and affluence given to you by permanent Washington, you have got to appease the Democrats. And that means staying away from Trump and renouncing the MAGA movement, even though it's Trump and the MAGA movement that are more and more becoming the defining forces of our politics today. And that means opposing Jim Jordan as speaker. So this is why, in effect, the Republicans always, they always end up looking so pathetic. The Republicans play the role of the Washington generals who are paid to lose to the Harlem Globetrotters. That's who these idiot rhinos ultimately are. They are paid losers. They're paid to throw the fight. That's what controlled opposition means. They're paid to be publicly beaten. And these pathetic rhinos who are still holding out are the embodiment of this carnivalesque parody of repulsiveness. D.C. Drano said it best. Today is the day we vote Jim Jordan in as speaker, and if not, we primary every single Republican holdout and rid our party of these vile uniparty mm. swamp creatures. This is our party, not theirs. Today is the day that we make sure these rhinos learn that this party belongs not to Pelosi, but to patriots. And no one, no uniparty rhino is going to stand in our way. Hey gang, I know mm. what it's... Well... Well, y'all let me know y'all thoughts. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts down below in the comments. Um, like I said in the beginning of the video, other videos y'all want me to check out. Or if y'all just, you know, want to let me know y'all thoughts. I typically read, you know, emails and DMs on, you know, different things uh, to give my, you know, uh, understanding and my response, you know, to the questions that y'all have, um, especially throughout the comments. Um, I try my best to comment back to a lot of y'all for the thoughts that y'all have. Um, but like I said, we have a newborn. I, de I have a migraine right now. It's up to 8 o'clock this morning, literally up to 8 o'clock this morning with um, love, our newborn. Um, so didn't get much sleep. Um, so probably going to edit these videos, drop these videos for y'all and probably get some sleep myself. Um, I have a bad migraine. If y'all haven't noticed, I have been a little quiet uh, this video and last video. But it's important to get these videos out and it's important to, you know, be there for um you know this uh, my subscribers i don't really say fans um <laughs> but subscribers you know uh the viewers um and i love y'all i love y'all for the comments y'all give you know the donations um the likes the shares uh i appreciate y'all for that you know um a lot of people don't realize that um this is something that that is challenging it becomes challenging but what isn't you know um so definitely have to get this out uh for y'all um i get a lot of uh, uh dms uh at times and emails that you know um making people happy you know just talking you know uh, not having somebody or so it's important to me to get these out no matter um i have a cold i got a migraine i got this going on got that going on it's important to me um so i definitely appreciate everybody much love everybody catch y'all next one